I'm back today using the Full Spectrum Urban Decay Palette. It is a, a really nice palette. There's a lot of nice colors in it. It's pretty much the name. It's a full spectrum of the rainbow, honestly. So if you are looking for a palette that has a nice array of colors and you don't want to go out there and buy just, you know, a big bunch of different colors and spend more and more money, I think this is a really good palette to start off with because you get, like I said, a nice variety. Not all the colors were as pigmented as some, but they were pretty colored and honestly gave a nice payback on my eyes. I would hope so. But if you would like to know how I came up with this look, then please keep on watching. All right, we're gonna start. Before I start, I'm gonna preface that I already did my eyebrows to get those out of the way. I already did them because Lord knows how long those take. I'm going to start off with this Benefit Air Patrol Primer. As I'm doing this, I also want to say that the mirror on this palette is literally all I ever want in life. It's so big, I can see my entire face. By the way, this is a MAC 252 brush. It's all faded, so I couldn't really tell. So once that is on my eyes, I'm just going to take any regular bone color. This one is from MAC, it's called Brulee. So I'm just going to use that to set my eyeball. Make sure we get an even layer and I'm just using the same brush. I'm going to go in with this one right here, it's called Metamorphosis. I'm going to go in with my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to use that as my crease color. Oh, another thing, I'm following that natural crease on my eyes but I also want to bring it just a little bit closer to, I don't know if I forgot the name. <laughs> I'm just bringing it a little bit closer to my nose, the hollows of my eyes. Cool. Just so I can keep this a little clean and it doesn't bother me as I do my makeup. I'm just gonna go back in with that brulee color from MAC. Again, obviously it's not part of the palette. You can use any neutral, bone, skin color, natural, etc. color underneath the brow bone. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that right underneath. Feather it out a little bit. Blending it into that color. All right, now that we have that nice crease color on, it took a really long. <laughs> I forgot to clean my makeup brushes. and are making my life so much more difficult than what it should be. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with... Two hours later. Honestly? One eternity later. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with sketch right here. I'm going to use my MAC. Actually, I have a new one and it's clean. I'll use a clean one. I'm going to use my MAC 239 brush and I'm going to grab sketch and I'm going to put that on the outer and the inner corners of my eyelids. So for the next step, I'm going to use my MAC 286 brush, no product on it, maybe just a little <laughs> from the last time I did my makeup, but you know what I mean. I'm just wiping that off. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to buff out that purple into the blue so it doesn't look 
so harsh. So after that purple, I'm going to get my, well I already got it, my MAC 213 brush is just a medium blending, medium shader brush. And I'm just going to grab this color right here, Gossip, and I'm just going to put that following that purple. You know what, I'm just going to cover that entire midsection. This color isn't coming out as bright as I anticipated it to be. You know what? Maybe it's the brush. I'm going to get my other MAC 239 brush and I'm going to do the same thing. Grab some Gossip. There we go, a little bit better. So I'm grabbing my Morphe R37 brush, yes, R37, and I'm just going to blend that pink into the purple just a little bit, so there's going to be no product on this. Just an FYI. And then from here, you're just going to see me adding more and more color, just intensify it a little bit. So for this next step, I'm using my MAC, I believe it's 219 or 210, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just this tiny little brush, pencil brush that I usually just use to smoke out my eyeliner or put inner corner highlighter on. So I'm going to wet it with my MAC, MAC Fix, <laughs> help me. I'm going to wet it with my Fix Plus, so I'm just going to wet it. And I'm going to use this orange color right here. It's called Jones. I'm going to put that right in the center of the pink. Honestly, I'm choosing the wrong brushes today. I'm going to change my brush. Here we go. I'm going to use my concealer Sephora brush in number 46. Same thing. There we go. Much better. All right, <laughs> that took a while. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put on my eyelashes. Did I have a lot of fallout? Hmm. I didn't have any of the color fallout, which is pretty nice, but I had like, some of these eyeshadows have little specks of glitter, so I see no color, I just see just little specks. All right, so next step, I'm gonna put on my eyelashes. To be quite honest, I'm not sure what brand these are. I just got them from the Sally's by my house. It didn't have like a brand name on it. It just came in this little clear case. I just know they're number 28 in black. No idea who made them, but they're pretty cute. I've used them before. All right, so we are done with the lashes. We're gonna move on with the face. To prime my face, I'm gonna use this Becca backlight priming filter. I'm gonna put that all over. Okay. So for my foundation today, I will be using my Makeup Forever HD stick. I'm color 127 Y335. Yeah. So I'm being very generous with this. I'm gonna use my Morphe M439 and I'm just gonna you know. When I use this foundation, I prefer to use a stippling brush or a brush like this. I don't know, since it's on the thicker side, at least for me, when I use a beauty blender, it doesn't really like blend into my skin. It feels like it's on top of my skin. I mean, literally any foundation is on top of your skin. But you feel me like, I feel like it just doesn't melt into my skin as well as it does when I use a brush. And just with any other foundation I would use my sibling brush with, I still like to grab my beauty blender and just pat it through after I use a sibling brush and then I follow up with this. I really just like it to get rid of any of the streaks that the brush may have caused. To conceal these dark circles, I'm gonna use this under eye, bye bye under eye concealer. 
I am in color neutral medium and I'm just going to put that directly right underneath my eyes. So for my concealer today, I will be using Custard from Sephora. It's their Won't Crease Concealer. I just got it. I will say though, I really don't like this applicator. This one, I just don't like how much product, like barely anything comes out with the applicator. So I can only like swipe it once. And I love like packing on the concealer. So, I'll look past it eventually, but... Good old blit, bloody blit. <laughs> so before I set underneath, I'm going to use my MAC concealer. It is 8.0 to contour my face. And I'm just going to put a line right under that cheekbone. I'm going to use my Morphe E7 to blend that out. So today for my setting powder, I'm going to use, even though it's in the lower Mercier container, I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder. It's my first time using it. I've heard lots of great things about it, so... I'm not going to bake today just because I already did my eyeshadow and usually I only really bake if I do my eyeshadow first. Sorry, if I do my foundation first and then I move on to eyeshadow just so the powder catches any fallout. Personally, I don't like baking a lot because I notice that my under eye looks a little bit drier and I don't like when it looks like that. So I'm just going to use my MAC 150 brush, just a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to... So now that the contour is all done and my face is set, I'm going to go in with my MAC Give Me Sun and I'm just going to bronze over the places that I contoured. I don't want to add too much because I already have that base underneath. After my bronzer is on, I'm going to go in with my blush. This one is from Laura Geller and it is Tropic Hues and it's her baked blush. So I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. So now I'm gonna finish the bottom of my eye. Going on in with the palette. So for the under eye, I'm gonna begin with blind sided, which is this color right here. And I'm gonna use my little pencil brush from MAC. Gonna go in blind sided. And I'm gonna put that right underneath my lash line. To blend that out a little bit further, I'm gonna use my M433 brush. I'm going to go back in Metamorphosis and lay it right underneath but kind of smoking it out just a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing it up just to connect it to that top color. So now that's done, I'm going to add just a little pop of color in the center to match the top lid. And I'm going to use the same brush I use, the concealer brush, if I can find it. Can't find the exact one, but it's just another concealer brush, except this one's from MAC. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wet it with my MAC Fix Plus. And this time, I'm going to go in with the same color, Jones, but I'm going to grab some of this. So now since that is done, I'm going to go in with a eyeliner. Yes. I'm going to be going in with this liner from Urban Decay. It's your 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in color Yayo. I'm just going my waterline. So from there, I'm going to put on some mascara. So I just put on my mascara. To finish this off, I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to go in with my Morphe 509 highlighter brush. I'm going to put that on the high points of my face. I don't know if I said it, but this is Laura Geller Gelato Store Illuminator in color Ballerina. I'm pretty much done. I just need to add some lip color. Since my eyes are a little bright already, I want more of a, I want more of a nude lip. So I'm guessing I'm going to use the LA Girl Lip Liner, and this is in color Natural Cream, I guess. So over top this color, I'm going to go in with, not sure if I want to use Stockholm from NYX, or actually, let's see how this looks. 
It's from Laura Geller. It's their Color Drench Lip Gloss in color Cafe Olat. I think I'm done. All right, that concludes this video. I really hope you like the eye look I came up with. And as you saw, every single color I use on my eyelid, I was about to say my face, every color I use on my eyelid, it came from this palette. I really think that everyone should have a little color in their collection. And this is a great way to start. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. And if you're not already, then go ahead and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.